tuning in to Kerrika TV. We have another Live Rich Adventure for you guys. This time it was to Havana, Cuba. Cuba is one place that I've always wanted to visit since I was like 15 years old, legit. One of my mom's friends, husbands, gave me a Buena Vista Social Club CD and I literally played it until it was all scratched up. He knew that I was studying Spanish and I was like really into the culture, slash almost obsessed with it. What he didn't realize is that he sparked in me a love, like an extreme love for the Cuban culture, the Cuban people, and it was some place that I'd always wanted to visit but due to the embargo and travel restrictions, I thought I'd never have the opportunity to. And then Obama came along. Mr. Awesome Obama. No, we just love Awesome Obama. Once that happened, I was like, yes, there is a chance for me to go to Cuba. And then I got pregnant. Oh no. And then <laughs> a year passed and I was like, ooh. Anniversary is coming and we ended up booking a trip. It was something that was completely last minute. It was the perfect opportunity for us to reconnect and travel and explore together and I'm really happy that we did it. Especially now that Trump is making all of these changes, we went at the perfect time. I'm just gonna hop into it because it's gonna be a long one. Live Rich Adventures, Havana, Cuba. That's easy. <laughs> Nice and bright. Like how my weekend's about to be. I know I'm trying it. I fly for Cuba leaves in five hours. Have I packed? No. Am I doing laundry? Yes. Am I also at Marshall's getting last minute things for this trip? Most certainly I am. Is this responsible? Not quite sure yet. But I feel like I need these things. Getting myself some new luggage. In addition to some other things, we're gonna make our flight. We're gonna make our flight on time. It's gonna be really tough. I'm definitely not sleeping tonight, but I'm so excited for our trip! <sighs> so it's now 10.30. I made my way back home, and this is what my packing looks like. Yes, a hot behind mess. I'm so excited for these looks that I'm taking to Cuba. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to be wearing is thrifted, but so good, and um, I feel like it they very much give off a very cute, don't mind my 2015. Apparently some of those goals were not attained. <laughs> They're gonna give off a very Havana vibe. I was kind of going that, I kept that in mind while I was uh, thrifting. All right, so I'm gonna stop procrastinating and get back to actually packing this stuff so that I'm ready to go by the time Nick gets home. And laundry's done. Voila la. And we're gonna be on time. We're gonna be on time. <laughs> And so with that, our adventure began. After a quick snooze on the path, a train ride amongst the drunken St. Patty's Day crowd, and a whole bus ride later, we made it to the airport. And, drum roll please, right on time. The two hours on public transport. Mama, we made it. Through the cold. We fixed our bags. We did good packing in such a short amount of time. All right, really? my phone's about to die. Okay, Nick doubts me. Yeah. Um. 20 hours, oh, I'm almost done on 24 hours, no sleep. We'll be at the airport. All right, sarcasm. We are finally on the flight that connects us to Cuba, and we really left out, just gonna out. And there's this guy that works for United named Carlos. Carlos is the man. We will elaborate on why he's the man in a little bit, but... <laughs> or maybe... <laughs> well... He's coming. Carlos is awesome. For those of you wondering, Carlos basically hooked us up with transportation from the Havana airport and accommodations for the entire trip. Otherwise, we may have been stranded for a bit and paid way too much. God's always looking out. So, Boo and I have officially landed in Havana. And um, we were picked up by our new friends, Emilio and Barry. Hola! Hello! Hola, Emilio! <laughs> Hola, Barry! Um, this was through the official hookup with Carlos. Loud nose. He really hooked it up. Um, and we're leaving the airport now, so we're gonna give you a little footage, but it's so cute already. 
Emilio, buddy, ¿quieres decir algo? Oh, oh. New York! I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's wearing a New York hat, yeah? Yankees fan, oh, Florida! This is my team baseball. Yeah! We're gonna enjoy the moment, so we'll catch you guys later, but we'll hear We've just settled into our apartment where we're gonna be staying for the next couple of days out here. And we wanna do a quick little tour of the space. So right now, this is the view from our balcony. Probably going a little too fast. Super cute. And you walk in, and you see this guy. Just kidding. Hi, baby. Hey. <laughs> you look so fine. Dude. Yeah. So this is the living room. It comes fully equipped with furniture, even some lovely reeds. Uh, television, which we probably won't be using. Dining area, phone. It's gonna be awesome to have, even though we have no one to call. Um, the kitchen area that comes with like cups and stuff. We've gone grocery shopping already, gotten some water. Well, we tried to get water. What we got was mineral water because they ran out of regular water, and once they're out of stuff, you don't get it for a while. So we have to hunt for some water later. Don't pay that any mind. We're just gonna get our Havana groove on. Go down this hall. This leads you to the bedrooms, uh, because there's one and there's another one over there. Here's the bathroom. It's pretty in pink, very clean, um, very breezy. We have two twin beds. It would have been great if we came with a group of people because then all of us could have split the price of this place, which actually isn't that bad. And then we have uh, the master bedroom. Ching, 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 ching. And that's pretty much it. It's a really big apartment. So let's talk numbers. For the time that we're here, we're gonna be paying $40 a night because we converted the money. We're gonna explain all that stuff later. With what we're paying for this space, we get this lovely view. And we also get breakfast every morning. And if we would like to add the option of having dinner made for us as well, we can have that for an extra cost, of course. But otherwise, we have Marta, who's the person who actually owns this apartment. She comes in, she'll fix breakfast for us whatever time we tell her to come in. And then whenever we're ready, we'll be able to come over here, sit down and have breakfast, or Take it out there. It's really beautiful and we can't wait to see some people. But before we do that, we serve as a crowin. Before we do that though, we're gonna shower and take a nap because we've been traveling for a very long time and we need to be washed. We'll get back to you guys at night time. After a quick nap and an awesome shower, we hit the town. Our spot of choice, La Fabrica de Arte Cubano, better known as La Fac or The Factory. It's basically a one-size-fits-all situation for anyone who enjoys music, art, culture, food, drinks, or simply socializing. Here we were finally able to get some non-mineral drinking water and check out some cool art. Hey there, sexy man. The space was huge and felt like it went on forever. There were a couple of bars, restaurants, and separate club-like areas, but apparently the best was saved for last because my favorite was tucked all the way in the back. Good morning, Richters. It's Sunday the 19th. Boo and I are out and we're about to go for a run to explore the city a little bit. But in addition to this, we're going to run into Old Havana from our place in Vidado. 
so that we can see if we can get some bikes so that way um, we can get around a little bit easier and explore a little bit more without having to catch a taxi every time. So we're going to be running for a little bit before we head back here and we have breakfast which will be prepared for us in our apartment by Marta. You love that, right? What? Prepared breakfast? Coming yes, back to breakfast? coming back to prepared breakfast. Yes, I, I doesn't like coming back to prepared breakfast. Don't you like coming back to prepared breakfast? On the rare instance that it happens. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I love that girl. There's rare instances. Well, guys, we'll, <laughs> we'll um, keep you guys updated on the happenings. We're at the start of El Malecon over here, <clears throat> which is uh, uh, an experience that many people have when they're in Cuba. That's where the locals hang and stuff. But for now, we're running along the Malecon because it's a straight shot and it'll also give us an opportunity to see a bunch of things, adventurize a little bit while maintaining our fitness. <laughs> On the hunt. For looking for a card. Looking for a card. We, we haven't even considered the water that we uh, definitely no. need. It's all about the internet. Modern day. Care more about the internet than drinking water. Well, ultimately, we weren't able to find a Wi Fi card or water, but we were able to see a lot of cool stuff as we jogged. So we're back from our run. It was really good. It was fun. The Malecon was nice. We don't know exactly how far in we went, but um, we at least went to Central Havana. We got to the good part. I feel like we went pretty deep in. Um, well, we don't know. We'll find we don't out know. Today. We will find we'll out find today. Out. All right, I stand corrected, babe. You're right. You're right. This is today's breakfast. This is a Cuban, typical Cuban breakfast. Um, the only thing that's missing is ham because Marta said that they didn't have any at the supermarket and she doesn't like to get it anywhere but the supermarket. So we're gonna walk into the kitchen and he said, hola y buenos dias a Marta. <laughs> <laughs> this is our hostess, Marta. She lives downstairs. Um, ¿Quiere decir algo? No, muy contenta. Que estén aquí en nuestro apartamento y que vuelvan pronto. Oh, gracias. After breakfast, we headed out without much of a plan other than walking around and being the ultimate tourist. I'd say that we accomplished our mission. Hey there, Richters. So, Nick and I took the bus today. This was suggested to us through our um, host, Alberto. And we had a really great conversation with him this morning about like how to travel like a local and basically just keep it living in general. Um, so we got all the lowdown about the pricing for how to get around, what locals actually do to get around. And one of the suggestions that he made to us is to take a bus instead of a taxi to places. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to put this down so that it, uh, we aren't drawing much attention to ourselves. Now we're on our way to Old Havana for the day. It's going to be a pretty good day. It was hot. It's starting to cool off a little because the sun's going down, so we'll see what we get into. In case you're wondering, it only cost us five Cuban cents to take the bus, but we usually gave them one CUC for the both of us. Taking the bus was one of the best ways to travel in Havana. Not only was it cost efficient, it also allowed us to see parts of the city and city life that we probably wouldn't have otherwise. I elaborate more on this in our Cuban travel guide video, so if you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description box below or hit any of the annotated links as they pop up throughout this video. But we wanted to tell you guys in on to what was happening. We're down one of the main streets. I don't even know what it is because we've just been moseying all day. But the city is coming alive. I mean, it was alive during the day, but night seems to be a whole different story. You got music like this going. You got people walking and enjoying. People are drinking. How cool is that? Um, and so we're probably going to head home for a bit, eat because Marta and Alberto are going to fix us dinner. Then we're going to head out and go salsa dancing. Today is the first day of a salsa festival that's starting for the next four days. But, um, ooh, yes. 
Um, but we are going to go salsa dancing at La, El Palacio de la Rumba with some friends that we met at the airport, <laughs> of all places. So, um, we'll turn you guys into those things, but for now, we're going to continue to move. For the rest of the day, we were in Old Havana. We pretty much just walked around and took some super touristy pics. And of course, talked to locals. As we were about to head back, we saw a line of people waiting for snacks. They were churros. I had never seen churros made in person, but when I was younger, my mom would get them for me whenever we would go to BJ's. It was kind of like my treat for enduring the hours she spent there. So of course, we had to stop and get some for the road. Once we were done, we headed back to the bus. Once we managed to figure out which one we were supposed to take, that was an adventure. But we eventually figured it out. Old Havana is so beautiful at night. Hey there, Rich Dirts. We are back home. Um, and we are having dinner prepared for us by our host, Alberto, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here I go. He's the chef. He he fixed it for us. We got some bread. We have some rice and chicken is what I have. Homemade wine made by Alberto. We have some salad, some platanos, um, dulces, and then we have some refried beans. This is for you. Mm. Oh, God. Rico. Alberto. Ah, Rico, I love Alberto. <laughs> well, this chicken is good. I'm ready to stop talking and start eating. All right, good. Because I've been ready. The rest of the night, we pretty much just talked and ate, and apparently the eye just hit. Good morning, Rich Dirs. It's day three in beautiful Havana, Cuba. And today, we are having right now a cafecito with our host family. Um, they came up to prepare breakfast for us. One thing that I didn't mention that we did yesterday was have an amazing conversation with Alberto after dinner. It was something that was totally unexpected. We just started to speak with him about the Cuban lifestyle and how the people of Cuba feel, especially about Castro and his influence on the country. And the conversation that we had was so profound and so amazing um, that I, I really wish I could have recorded it or I really wish that I could have shared it with you guys but it was one of those things where it's like one you're in the moment you don't really want to interrupt it with that but outside of that it was just it was just really deep I'll try to explain Hola Alberto. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> Basically, the people of Cuba love them some Fidel, even way after his passing. Like we see posters of Fidel everywhere, and when he explains why, um, you really get an understanding. Ooh, bananas. Fidel really fought for equality, equality of all people, and it's for that reason when you come to Cuba. If you're a foreigner, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're yellow, it doesn't matter. You're an equal. Like you can sit at their table as equals because everyone has rights and everybody has a right to practice those rights. I could probably go on and on about this and we were talking for like almost three hours to the point where we were planning on going out and it didn't even happen. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and we look forward to sharing more of the trip with you soon. Live rich. After breakfast, back to the buses we went. But this time, we weren't headed to Old Havana, but instead to some of the local beaches. Playa del Este, or at the East Beach. We were told by Alberto that this was one of the best beaches for a good mix of locals as well as tourists. So we are now in La Playa del Este, which is the East Beach. We took two buses to get here um, and we were going initially to, we were planning to go to like Veradero or like one of those other beaches and it's kind of a good thing we did it because it would have taken us like a long time like six or seven hours how long do you think it took us to get here dude? not too long sure not too long but it was about an hour we're gonna hang out have some fun in the sun for a couple of hours it's a little cloudy today so it's not super super hot 
What else do you want to say, babe? Nada. Nada. Oh, Boo here is picking up some Espanol, right? <laughs> you want to say something in Espanol? Um, si fuera muy vivente. Oh, now we're getting into areas where people are, so we don't want to be outcast. Todos en la playa. At the beach. Hey. awesome until the weather started to turn a bit. The winds picked up a lot. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't know how to swim. That's a life skill that I'm currently working on, so with the crazy waves, I opted to stay out of the water, which is kind of a bummer because we planned on doing some water activities. On another note, to illustrate the value of the tourist currency to local Cubans, while we were there, a tourist lost his parasailing board. Instead of letting it go out to sea and paying the cost for the lost equipment, he told the staff he would pay someone 10 CUCs to go out and get it. One lifeguard actually took him up on his offer and eventually got the board, but was struggling to get back to shore for almost a half hour. Super scary. The beach travels worked up an appetite, so we went out to dinner. <laughs> was okay but way expensive considering what it was. Over 70 CUCs for two entrees and one drink. We definitely preferred the flavors of the meal that we had at the apartment for less than a third of the price too. Lesson learned. Buenos dias, Richters. It is our fourth and second to last day here in beautiful Havana, Cuba. And today, the plan is that we are going to be doing a bus tour. Today is pretty much like super tourist day. Um, <laughs> taking pictures in front of all of the big attractions. And hopefully later on tonight, if we're up to it, we are going to go dancing at the Buena Vista Social Club. The Buena Vista Social Club um, was one of the inspirations for me to like really want to come to Cuba. So to be able to experience that in vivo live would be awesome. I'm gonna put this phone down because my arm hurts and it's, I also have to concentrate because I'm wearing heels. Um, and I don't wanna break my ankles because Nick would laugh at me. So I'm gonna go now. But I hope you guys are having a good day and you'll see what transpires throughout the day. Live rich.
Later that night, we ran home for a quick dinner and to change before heading over to El Moro for the sounding of the cannons at 9. Such a treat of an experience and I'm so happy we made it in time. A couple minutes later and we probably would have missed it. I mistakenly left my phone at the apartment so I couldn't take photos or video but we actually did end up going dancing with a couple of new Cuban friends that we met that night and while the dancing didn't take place at the Buena Vista Social Club we had a blast. The next day went by so fast we hopped over to the street market to see our new Cuban friends again before heading back and seeing Alberto and Marta for a farewell lunch. We didn't want to go. Pero no nos daba tiempo la hora. Sí. Queremos ser platanitos, fritos, todo. Hola. It's our last day here. We're having so much fun. Um, we actually managed to go out. Welcome, welcome. Back. Back. Oh, come back, come back. Oh. We love them. They're so okay, awesome. Okay. We really have to eat though because our flight leaves in like two hours. To go down. We loved Cuba and hope to be back soon if Trump's policies don't ruin it. We'll catch you in the next Live Rich Adventure, but until then, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Live Rich and Happy Dream Chasing. Money, 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 money! In Cuba, there are two different currencies. You have the coup, C-U-P, and you have the cook. C U C. The difference in the two currencies is 24 to 1. So you want to make sure that when you're converting your money from the euro or the dollar or whatever currency you decided to bring down with you, you want to make sure that you're getting back the correct currency. Now, there are a couple of ways to tell the difference between the two currencies. <laughs>